the new thing it's been doing lately is uh, basically jumping around the pulse for the past week. The bottom's a pulse there, 75. It's been bouncing around. This morning it got down to 56, but it jumped from 56 to 70. It's been jumping. You know what I mean? If I stand up, it'll jump 120, 130, back down to 110. From 110 to 80, from 80 to 99, from 99 to 129. This has been, the pulses has been jumping up and down. It's been doing this for a week. I told the cardiologist, my doctor, numerous times, like five times already within a week. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You know, I see my cardiologist next month. I was supposed to see him this month, but they, they canceled, they rescheduled it because the scheduling was messed up. So I see them uh, on the 19th, on the cardiologist, May 19th. Yeah, May 19th, but this is what it's been doing lately. It's been bouncing, you know. Sometimes it gets worse than this. You think this is bad, sometimes it just jumps up and down real fast, like lightning fast, like boop, 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 boop. I'm like, whoa, what is going on? Is this inappropriate sinus tarchiata? or some kind of AFib or rhythm, heart rhythm problem. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's crazy. The beta blockers make me feel like trash. If you don't blame me, I got plenty here. You can take them. Let me know how you feel after a few days. It takes a couple days to get in your system, but after a few days, you feel the effects. It makes you feel like beat up, worn down, dizzy, tired all the time, dizzy dizziness and all that it makes you feel like pure trash gas constipation peeling of the skin hallucinations all those beta blockers everybody said won't they just change the medicine they change my medicine like five times they all have the same side effects you know ringing in the ears you know loud ringing and drives you nuts yeah yes medicine has side effects I don't care anybody says oh they got side effects duh read the bottle go online look at the side effects not everybody deals with the same side effects but with a beta blocker there's like a hundred side effects and you'll probably deal with every bit of 12 or more different ones it differs differs from everybody not everybody will have the same side effects somebody will have something different you know what I mean but yes you'll get side effects from them beta blockers trust me trust me trust me trust me it's not 100%. Sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. I've been taking beta blockers all week and they haven't helped at all. Like, it feels like I, you know, I don't feel any difference in this pulse rate. Before, my pulse would be high. You know what I mean? Wouldn't go down. Now, it's, now for the past seven days, it's been jumping. The pulse rate's been jumping up and down, especially when I stand up. Right now, I'm laying down. But when I stand up, it really jumps around 120, 130, 140, from 140 back down to 99. 99 back up to 120 like that been jumping up and down it's been crazy right now I'm laying down see see it down there the bottom number is the pulse the bottom number is the pulse I'm going to sit still for a minute is this supposed to be doing this let me know if this is supposed to be doing this or not jumping around like that. The top number is the oxygen level. The bottom is the pulse number. The pulse number is on the bottom. That's when it's jumping around. Look at it. Is this called, the cardiologist said it's inappropriate sinus tarchiata. Some kind of heart rhythm problem. You know what I mean? Or your heart races for no reason. There's off rhythm, the you know what I mean? Some people got it worse than me. Some people said they, when they stand up, it goes to 200 immediately into 200. And they went to the hospital. One lady said she'd been going to the hospital for like four years. They kept us swear they kept us saying it was anxiety, anxiety. Then she went to two different cardiologists and both of them were saying something different. So now we're kind of confused. Everybody's confused what's going on. One lady in the Facebook group said she they told her anxiety for three years. Every time she go into the high pulse rate, they said it's anxiety. Because the doctors at the hospital really don't they're not a cardiologist and they really don't know. So they blame it on anxiety just to get out of it, you know, the situation, like, you know what I mean? Like, blame it on the rain. We'll just blame everything on anxiety and get them out of here. Because they're more worried about COVID-19 than they are anybody. And when you go in the hospital, they rush you in and rush you out. You walk in with a bloody finger and you walk out the bloody finger and they won't even treat it. They want you in and out. If it's not COVID-19 related, get the hell out of here. I heard them say, 
in the, in the uh, hospital. Let's keep this emergency room empty. Let's get him out of here quickly as possible. I'm like, what? Then they got a police, a fire scanner over there. So they know when an ambulance comes to the hospital, they got it real loud. And I heard him say, somebody's coming in with a, with a, coming in with a fever, 104. They must have COVID. COVID, they got a fever. Apparently, they won't test you for COVID in the hospital unless you got a fever. And that's not the case. I, some people told me they, they test a positive for COVID and they did not have a fever. So they don't know what all this fever crap's about because that was, according to the hospitals, that's a main symptom. If you got a fever, you got COVID. That's not the case. You know what I mean? So they have no clue like this anxiety thing. They have no clue about a heart, f fast heart rate or anything. So they blame it on anxiety. I'm not the only one that went to the hospital multiple times in, a, in two months and they blamed it on anxiety every time. It's on my discharge paperwork. Was seen for anxiety issues, anxiety, anxiety, all the paperwork, seven times in eight weeks in the hospital, the emergency room, the doctors put on their anxiety issues every single time. It's like unbelievable. You know what I mean? I have multiple sclerosis and the cardiologist said he think it's MS related. And my car, my neurologist, I told her that I had a video visit last week with her and she said it's not MS related. So I don't know. And plus, I'm an MS and multiple sclerosis fan, uh, fan group, uh, you know, support group on Facebook. And a lot of people said they got diagnosed with this inappropriate sinus tarchiata or AFib or all that other stuff. You know what I mean? Sinus tarchiata. They was they was diagnosed with that before MS. So I'm all confused about all that. You know what I mean? It's crazy. You know what I mean? It's just been jumping around like, wow. What is going on? Let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe and comment down below. It's been like this for seven days. It's crazy. Let me know.